Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked the last video and today I'm going to talk about what's inside my travel backpack. Inside this backpack is everything that I need to film cars when I travel. Let's start with the backpack. This one is a Lower Pro Protatic BP450AW2. So a very long name as usual in camera stuff. This bag never failed me. It's flawless. I have it for five years and it never failed me once. It's very well padded here in the back and it's very comfortable to wear. You have a lot of pockets outside and you have easy access to your cameras. So that's very important for me when I travel and have a backpack like this. One of the main reasons that I bought this backpack is the fact that it has this strap and it lets me put this backpack on top of my carry-on luggage. My carry-on has four wheels, so when I place this bag on top of it, it lets me not wear the bag and stress my back. So for me, this is very important because usually uh, I have to travel a lot and when I go film, I don't want to be all tired from wearing the backpack. So very important to me that it has this strap. But let's see what's inside of this backpack, all right? So the first thing that I want to show you, it's the main camera that I use. This is the Lumix S5 Mark II and it has the 24-105 f4 Lumix lens. And I love this combo because with this combo, I can take different kinds of shots. And the image is always very well stabilized because this camera has IBIS and this lens has image stabilization. So pair the two and you have like super smooth footage with this combo. Another thing that I like about this combo is the fact that it's very nimble. It's very small. It's not the smallest camera in the market, but still it is very small. The battery life is great. You can have like two, two memory cards here. So I can record for a long time with this camera and get a lot of shots with just one battery. So this is very important to me. Another thing that is very important is the fact that you have USB-C on this camera so you can charge your battery and you don't have to bring a charger with you. Another camera that I have here which usually I use to take pictures because when I travel, uh, I like to work, but sometimes I need to have fun too. So I, I have been bringing this camera for the past month and I've been loving it. It's the Fujifilm X106 and it's a crazy lovely camera that I really like to use. And I can show you right now some images that I've been taking with the past month. So after that, I have this blower here to blow the dust. And I have my suction cup. This must be my favorite item of all because these suction cups are so strong and they never failed me. They are very affordable and I've used a lot of different suction cups inside cars. So I rigged a lot of stuff uh, after these years and these ones are the best because if you use these suction, these suction cups with a very strong ball head like this one, your camera won't move an inch when you place your camera inside. Let me show you right now with this, okay? So this is a very strong ball head, so you can, you can lose it. And then you lock it. And this is really, really strong. I will leave uh, a link below if you want to search for these suction mounts. And I've used it in very hot conditions, in very cold conditions. The past month has been crazy with low temperatures where I filmed and this never failed. So I really like it. Another thing that I bring with me 
is the DJI RS3 Mini. And it's crazy to, to have these kind of small gimbals because usually I had to bring a bigger backpack with me because of the gimbal or sometimes I didn't even uh, bring the gimbal with me because I knew that it would be very difficult to travel with it. And now with the RS3 Mini, it's really very easy to travel with. The only thing that you have to do is unlock all the axes so the gimbal can be placed inside without getting a lot of space. So usually I travel with it like this. And this gimbal can hold perfectly this camera with this lens. So it's crazy, right? This gimbal, this lens, and I can show you some images right now and you can see it's butterly smooth. So let's see the other stuff. Okay, here I have my tripod for the RS3 Mini. And here I have all the filters that I need. Usually they are Nisi filters, but this one is not working very well because I have used it a lot. But inside I have a lot of filters. Right now I have the filter here, but usually I have step up rings and everything inside this pouch. All right. So the pouch is not working very well. As you can see, I have to replace it. And here I have this small 18 millimeters Lumix lens which is an f1.8 lens and I love this lens. I think it's the best lens that I ever had, especially when uh, I use this camera inside of the vehicle for the talking head shots. Man, this is crazy. I put it, the, I put it in APS-C mode. So it's roughly a 20 millimeter lens, 22 millimeters, and it's perfect for inside shots and it's very sharp and very well constructed, this lens. And all the lenses that I have from Lumix are this size and the same filter thread. So it's perfect. I really love using this lens and this camera. Right here, I have the audio. So usually I have the talent with this mic that I have for a long, long time. This is the Tascam DR10L and it's been flawlessly. I think I never had like a file corrupt or any problem with the sound with this recorder. Another thing that I bring with me is this power bank that can charge not only my phone, but some batteries and also my AirPods. It's a very small, power bank, but it does the job very well. It also can output via USB-C and traditional USB. So you, you are covered in both ways. I have this charger right here, which can charge everything that I need when I travel. It has four USB-C ports and this is PD90. This is from Satechi and it works really well. The fact that the cable can be pulled out like this is very important because if I am in another country, I can buy like a cable like this for this country and I can use and I can still use these chargers. So really cool stuff from Satechi. Now let's see what's inside this bag. Here I have my iPad Pro, it's still, it's the first version of it. I love it. I usually use it to review footage and to edit some photos. And here I have my batteries. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I have my batteries. I have this Gomatic Peter McKinnon for my batteries. Also, I have this little battery for my Fuji X106 and I have this pouch for 
all my SD cards. Right now it's empty because I've been offloading footage. I also have this tool from Small Rig that lets me do everything that I need regarding uh, rigging everything. And I also have this plate that goes here. So as you can see, it has a very large surface, so it doesn't have any vibration when, in, when it's mounted on the car. I also have this cloth right here, so I can clean all my, lens, all my lenses. And I have all these USB-C cables that I use to charge everything. I have another tool here and another USB converter, USB-C converter. So a lot of cables that I have inside. But let me show you why I really love this backpack. If I have the two cameras like this here, when I place my backpack anywhere, I can access my cameras from here. So it's very useful. I can just take my camera out like this. And if I need the other camera, it's the same thing. I just open this one and I take my camera, I shoot and then I bring it back to the back. So it's really useful, I really like this camera. Also I have these pockets right here. Usually I put my AirPods here. So it's very easy to, to access, especially when I get inside the plane where I use it a lot of time. So when I'm on the plane, I always have my AirPods on. And on this side, let me see what I've got here. So I have this lipstick, which is very important when you work on the sun, under the sun, so it's very important. And I still have some masks that I used when the COVID was around. And I still have them here because we don't know the future, so. And on the top, you can access your gimbal so if i open from here usually my gimbal is here like this so i can pull the gimbal very easily so as you can see i can access my gear with very uh, easy access here i have another pocket with my passport I always travel with my passport because it's very useful. It helped me a lot in the last um, in the last trips that I made. So that's it. That's all that I got in my travel backpack. I hope you like this video. My English it's still not the best. I'm trying my best to not be boring or something. So I hope you like the video. If you like, subscribe the channel and share the video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.